Hey guys, I'm Mason, and in this video I'm going over my week 7 NFL game picks, but first I'll give a little recap of week 6. So, first of all, there's no more undefeated teams. The Jets upset the Eagles 20-14, and the Browns upset the 49ers 19-17. Um, I heard the Eagles threw a bunch of picks, well Jalen Hurts specifically threw a bunch of picks, and then the 49ers missed the game-winning field goal at the end, um, and the Browns defense played good. Also, um, Christian McCaffrey, Samuel, Debo Samuel, and Trent Williams all got injured in that game, but they could all possibly play Monday. Um, I know I'm jumping around these bullet points here. Um, so going back up, the Lions beat the Buccaneers 20-6. to I thought that would be a really close game. I kind of thought it would be high score, but no, it was 20-6. to um, Kind of disappointing. All the games last week were kind of disappointing, in my opinion. Um, Justin Fields is doubtful to play against the Raiders this week. Um, he uh, suffered a thumb injury last week. Um, and then Anthony Richardson is out for the season with a shoulder injury. So quite a few injuries last week. Anyway, week 7. Um, Thursday night we have the Jaguars at the Saints. The Jags have kind of been on fire, but the Saints have been playing pretty decent too these last few weeks. So I'm hoping this is a good game. I think it should be. Um, but the Jaguars finally seem to get have their stuff figured out. I think they're going to win this one 27-24. The Lions at the Ravens. Um, this should be another really good one, I'm hoping. The Lions played, their defense mostly played good last week against the Buccaneers. Um, and they're one of those teams that I'm kind of surprised they're 5-1. and one, But like, at the same time, they're, they're just not losing. The only game they lost was to the Seahawks, which is... Again, really surprising. Um, and the Ravens, they're also playing pretty good. I haven't been following as closely as I should be this season. I'm not going to lie. But I kind of think the Lions will win this one. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm predicting 26-20. We have the Raiders at the Bears. Um, the Bears played awful last week. Even when Justin Fields was in the game, they couldn't do anything on offense. Um, and with a backup quarterback, I don't see the Bears even having a chance in this game. If Fields was in, I would possibly say they'd win. Actually, probably not. They've had one good game this season. Like, all their others have been really bad. So I think the Raiders will get the win here. 24-17. The Browns at the Colts. Um, this one honestly might not be that close with Anthony Richardson out and just the way the Browns are playing despite all the injuries. Because um, that's another thing I forgot to mention earlier. Deshaun Watson was out for the game against the 49ers, and they still won. So, like, I don't see the Browns losing this one. It'll be really surprising if they do. Final score, 23-13. The Bills at the Patriots. The Bills barely beat the Giants on Sunday night. Um, but they still won. It's the difference. The Patriots are not winning their games. They just don't seem to be playing that good. I don't know what it is. Um, I know pe some people are blaming coaching, some people are blaming Mac Jones, but I don't know. Something's just not clicking for him this season, so I think the Bills will be able to walk away with the win here, 27-17. The Commanders at the Giants. Um, the Giants are another one of those teams that are just not playing good. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but they're simply not having a good season. So I think the Commanders will be able to win this one. They're playing much better. Um, I'm thinking 28-17. The Falcons at the Bucks. I'm kind of surprised the Falcons are 3-3. Three three well, okay, so they're a team that, for a while, I thought they might be something. But then they've had a few bad games where it's like, eh, maybe they aren't anything. So I don't know. But the Buccaneers have kind of been the same way. Like, they've had quite a few good games. I know these teams have the same amount of wins, but the Buccaneers seem to have more good games than bad, and I guess it's because they've had their bye week maybe. Anyway, I just don't know how this one will go, because the Buccaneers had a really bad game last week against Detroit, but I just, I just don't really see the Falcons winning this one. Something tells me the Buccaneers are going to win, so I'm predicting Tampa Bay 20-26. to now we have the Steelers at the Rams. This one is another one I don't really know because the Steelers have been so hard to predict. It's like I feel like they don't have that good of a team, but then their defense, um, their defense has been playing so good. They're like, it doesn't really matter that their offense is struggling so much. They're still coming away with wins. Um, but I don't know if 
I don't know if they'll be able to stop the Rams offense well enough to win this game. I don't know. Like I said, the Steelers are so hard to predict this season. I'm going with the Rams in this one, 16 to 20, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, the Cardinals at the Seahawks. I think this will end up being a close game just because these two teams always tend to have close games, but I don't see the Seahawks losing. The Cardinals aren't playing very good this season, and the Seahawks are doing pretty good for the most part, so I think Seattle wins 16-23. The Packers at the Broncos, um, this is an interesting game. Neither of these two teams are playing good, in my opinion. Um, I really don't know. I feel like I've maybe seen more flashes from the Broncos, and the Broncos might have more potential, in my opinion. Um, and it's a home game for them, so that might help, I don't know. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't think the Packers will win this one for some reason. So I'm going Denver 20-23. to 23. We have the Chargers at the Chiefs. Um, the Chargers didn't play great against the Cowboys last week. Um, the Chiefs didn't play great against the Broncos last week. So it should be a close one. But I just don't see the Chiefs losing. Like I keep saying, they've been having a lot of close games, but they're still coming away with the win. And I think that'll be the case in this one. Final score, 24-31, Kansas City. We have the Dolphins at the Eagles. I am so excited for this game. I really hope it turns out to be the game I think it will be, because I think it'll be a high-score game. I mean, both of these teams have been scoring quite a few points this season. I'm really excited to see how, I guess, both teams play, but the Dolphins especially, because they've had a lot of high-scoring games. And, I don't know, I keep going back and forth, because at first I kind of wanted to go with the Dolphins, just because... I, I don't know. I feel like they've been playing really good, but then I was like, ah, I don't know. I ended up changing my mind. I think the Eagles will win this one. I just, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but I am super excited for this game. I'm going Philadelphia 34-38. Monday night, we have the 49ers at the Vikings. I don't see the 49ers struggling too much. The Vikings, they beat Chicago, but that's not saying much, and they really didn't play all that great. Yeah, the 49ers had a bad week too, but I feel like the 49ers will have a bounce back game this week. Um, so I'm predicting San Francisco 27-17. And for fan picks, the three people that answered all think the 49ers will win. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be part of fan picks, join our Discord server. I'll have a link for that in the description, and I'll see you next time on Good Gamers. Thanks for watching.